Hey, what's up guys? Dan from Delicate Detailing here. It's been a long winter, but the weather's clearing up and it's detailing season. So without further ado, I'm gonna get to you, uh, I'm gonna get to our first video. The first video of the season is gonna be a clay bar video. Now I know there's different uh, levels of aggression clay-wise. I will be uh, comparing all mild levels of clay. I know there's medium and heavy clay bars, but to, uh, today these will all be fine or mild clay bars. Starting out with the Mother's Clay Kit, this is what I started with when I first started detailing. Uh, can buy them for about $30 uh, Canadian here. Then this is uh, 3D's, uh, 3D's is basically a professional uh, detailing company. And uh, it's their fine grade clay bar, the same, uh, basically their version of the mild. 3D is uh, huge in Canada right now. They go to most of the, uh, they're selling products to most of the dealerships and body shops and they're doing very well for themselves. And then the uh, third is probably the biggest company is obviously Meguiar's. This is their professional, uh, professional detailing clay and this is the mild as well. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to de decontaminating, polishing, and then ceramic coating the whole car. So I'm going to go ahead and tape off uh, part of the trunk, rinseless wash it because there's just a bit a little uh, a little bit of dust, you know, do an just basically an O&R wipe down, and then I'll tape off three sections with the the mothers here, and then I want to have basically the the Meguiar's and the 3D side by side because th this is exactly why because now the Meguiar's is used, I just used the fresh, uh, the last fresh piece, actually doing a part of, uh, side part of the car, and I'll get back to that later is why I'm actually doing the test, but I'll get it out in a minute, and it actually looks exactly the same as the 3D clay here, and just basically testing to see if there's like uh, a difference at all, if it's uh, One's more aggressive than the other, or one's uh, one's easier to use, like works better in your hands, or something like that, or if one picks up contaminants better, just to see the difference, or just to say maybe Meguiar's is making 3Ds, and uh, they're just buying it and wholesaling it from them. So basically, why I'm doing this test is because I was going ahead and using the mother's professional clay bar, and there's very little contaminants on my car. As you guys know, it's not winter driven. Uh, barely sees rain. If it does, it's only when I'm caught out in the rain, basically. Um, and I was claying it, and I was actually using the Meguiar's uh, clay bar. It marred the hell out of my paint. So, I uh, went ahead and polished the roof already. I already did here. I left it because I want to show you guys how bad it's really marred. So, uh, I'm just going to take you off the tripod, and I'll bring you in. One second guys, let me see if you guys can see this better. I'm no cameraman, let me tell you that, but I think you guys are picking that up. Like, looks pretty great up here. And then you get down into the harder reach spots. I don't want to spend all day in this, but I think you guys are getting the picture. And that is from the McGuire's Clay Bar. Hey, sorry guys, just bear with me. I just got off the afternoon shift. I'm a little tired here, just cracking an energy drink. All right, so now that I got you back on the tripod, let's get to work. I'm gonna go ahead and just rinseless wash this trunk before I tape it off. This mother's clay kit comes with one cheap, not too poor quality microfiber and uh, I think 200 gram clay bars. And this clay is, uh, I really like this clay for, for people that uh, just take care of their daily drivers and uh, clay their car maybe twice a year and keep on top of it. This is, this is probably what you're looking for. It's not too aggressive. It doesn't mar the paint too bad. And uh, I particularly like it. So I'm just going to go ahead and detail spray smells like cinnamon hearts. I forgot about that.
So when we get started, I use a ton of clay loop and I'll also spray the clay bar first too. Now I clay really gently. Especially on my car because I know it has soft paint. As I showed you guys before, as it mars very easily. But honestly, you don't, I've already gone over it probably this, I think this is the third pass over. And it's feeling pretty smooth already. Now there's a little bit of contaminants, but not much there. Just, just enough to make, make it smooth. I want to get a co uh, good bond when I do the ceramic coating. So let's go ahead and wipe that off. I'm going to try not infect, uh, affect the tape too much here. about getting per perfectly too dry because I'm going to be spraying more. Now I've tried almost like half a dozen clay bars. You can see I've had, uh, gone through the Greek Garage one too. Honestly, I like the, there wasn't too much of a difference between the, the mothers here and the Greek Garage. Uh, they're both yellow clay, pretty mild. The only, uh, the only thing I found with the Greek Garage one is that my term is it melts in your hands, you know, when you're claying against the car and it just like starts falling apart and kind of it forms to the car, gets really flat and then starts falling apart. I kind of kind of melting in your hands. I find the mother's one uh, is a little bit more durable that way. So in the middle, I'm going to pull out the Meguiar's uh, professional clay here. Just give me a second, guys. To keep all my clay wrapped up after even if it's being used. Now the perks about the professional clay is it comes in these fancy containers so you can store it in which is very convenient. I think I honestly got this for about 25, 30, probably it was no more than $35 Canadian max. I can't remember exactly how much it was. I got it at a car show. And I, uh, by McGuire's, they were actually uh, there at a car show. They set up their tent and they were selling all kinds of products and I kind of just had to try it. Instead of paying for shipping and that would be like $15 on top of the product. Uh, on top of the product. So we're going to like go ahead and spray the product liberally again. And I'm going to go ahead and soak the clay bar too. Now since this Clay bar, uh, this clay bar was new. I used it on the roof and the pill, the, not the A pillars, but the long pillars that go across the car. I think they're called the B pillars. And I've just used that once. So just so you guys are aware on camera, I'm going to mat in a new piece of clay. So you guys can't say, oh, you're using an old side of the clay. That's why it's marring up your paint. pretty much as clean as I'm going to get it right there. And then I'll even spray more detail spray on top of that just for lubrication. And honestly, you feel this one a little bit more grabbing against the paint. So that's my second pass through. I'll do three just like I did there, just to be completely fair. And I'm all going the one way, so hopefully if there's any marring, you guys will be able to distinguish it on camera. So I'm gonna go put this away. Bear with me guys. So we're gonna go ahead and mop this all up again. Sorry, I'm just trying not to disturb the tape. This isn't really like 3M tape or anything like that. It's just regular uh, painter's tape, so it comes off pretty good once you saturate it. For polishing and everything, it works pretty well with like uh, the trim. It's just when you get it wet, it comes off fairly easy. So okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the last clay bar, the 3D clay bar. 
And I tried a couple of the 3D play bars. Um, this is actually a brand new one, and this is by far the cheapest of the three. I think I paid $15 Canadian. So for you guys in the States, I don't know if 3D is in the States yet, but if you can find it, it's probably dirt cheap. I'll say. Sorry, guys. But for comparison, hold on a second. This is the 100 gram bar. This is whatever 3D gives you, so it's probably three or four of these. It might even be 500 milligrams, I really don't know. I tried the Nano Skin uh, Auto Scrubs. I got two in moderate, uh, not even mild. I'd gotten two medium, mostly for uh, clients' cars. And because most of the clients' cars I have, they've never been uh, decontaminated at all. So I needed something more aggressive than for my car. And I did the paper or the plastic bag test for, uh, after I decontaminated a couple. I just wasn't happy. Yes, you could do a whole car in 20 minutes, half an hour. But if there's still contaminants on it, what's the point of wasting that 20 minutes, half an hour to begin with? If you're going to do it, you might as well do it right. That's why I like the clay bars. I haven't... Well, I have tried the, a couple clay mitts as well. Not here, but I've tried them during certification purposes. And we never really like uh, tested it out how well it worked after. We never did the plastic baggie test. Most of the certifica uh, certification places, they don't really care about uh, prep, which is sad to say. They just want to show you the steps for their coating. The 3D. I'm gonna go ahead and saturate. Gonna go ahead and sat. Oh, gonna go ahead and saturate the panel here, and then the clay bar as well. So that's one pass, two passes, three passes. You can see there's a little bit of contaminants there. It's hard to see because it's blue and they're so minimal on my trunk. There will be more in like the rocker panels, front bumper, places like that. Okay guys, you're back and you're off the tripod. So I'm gonna bring you into the tr control group first. And this is where I haven't clayed at all yet. You can tell it's like, it's a little spotty in there. It's not, it's not too clear, but there's not too much scar uh, scratching or marring or anything. Like it's very minimal. You probably won't even pick it up on camera. There's a little bit there. So now I'm gonna pull you over to this is where I clay barred. You probably guys won't even be able to see the tape lines. There's a little bit of tape lines too, honestly. And uh, there's really just no additional marring from the mother's product there, from the mother's clay bar. Now this was the, uh, the McGuire's. And I don't know if you guys are picking it up. It's definitely done some marring. There's a little bit there that you can see like swipe down kind of that way. Which I was going this way. I don't know how it kind of did that. And then over here you can definitely see it. See this marring? Right there. One sec. It's like right back and forth right on where that tape line was. One second. You guys. 